How's it going guys? Welcome back for some more modern Minecraft here on Nice It Done. I am Drew Nice or S Riddler C and I hope you guys are having a great Halloween so far. Maybe out trick-or-treating already. Getting yourself some candy and whatnots. We're here today for a Halloween special. Um I don't know if you can tell by the title, probably, I don't know. We are going to be doing a hedge maze. Now if you don't know what a hedge maze is, it's basically an outdoor maze made of bushes. Um, you've probably seen them before. If not, Google hedge maze <laughs> or bush maze. <clears throat> Let me grab a drink real quick. But today we are going to be doing a hedge maze. We have some pretty fancy blocks and uh, if you guys are from my channel from a long time, we'll get into this here in a second. But if you guys have been part of my channel for a while, you've seen I've done a maze before. If not, you can check the info card link up at the top right. And uh, yeah, it was kind of small. It was, 20 it was 25 by 25. People said it was too easy. So this one is a 50 by 50. Freaking huge. And we're going to be doing some fancy blocks. now. Now that it's Halloween, or that it's Halloween, um, we have a few blocks here. These are carved leaves. You see you can use any leaves, carve them into dead leaves. I think it'll give it a nice spooky atmosphere. Grimstone, which is stone with coal in the middle that's added by a uh, chisel, adds that into the game. It's really cool. We got some chiseled marble. And, uh,. Some chiseled stone. So let me just get this out of my way. <laughs> Show you guys what we're going to be working with here. Um, I actually don't know where we're going to do this. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'll figure all that out here in a second. But the ground, I'll just do this above ground for right now. Just to show you guys what we're going to be doing, so the ground tiles are going to be like this. I like how the grimstone has uh, some particles coming off of it. These black particles. Looks pretty cute. Um, and down here, so the side walls of the maze are going to be this poison stone brick. Just to give it a little height and to give it a little bit of fanciness, I guess. <laughs> um, we got these ornate blocks. Um, to help designate the path a little bit. And then along the tops here will be the dead leaves. Yep. So we could do two right here and then just continue on like this. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that looks real nice. This is what we're going to be designing the hedge maze. Uh. So the dead leaves kind of make it seem like a like a corn maze. Um, I didn't want to use sugar cane because it's sugar cane. That's a lot of water we would have to deal with. Um, I had an idea, but it would only make it about too tall. I don't want to be able to cheat and jump over the edge to see where I'm going. So this is going to be our pattern. Um, it's going to be one down, obviously. Got to carve out all the floorage. Um, and yeah. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of the maze here. I'll give you three seconds to look at it. Or maybe five seconds. I don't know. Six seconds. Because I like multiples of three. But this is the pattern we're going to be working with. That took me about, like, 30 minutes to come up with about yeah about 30 minutes to come up with and draw out and stuff and then 
I was looking through blocks for, well, maybe like 20 minutes. Just kind of looking through all the chiseled blocks, seeing what we could work with. Uh, let's go. Like these ice pillars would look cool. Um, there's also a lot of pumpkins. <laughs> Redstone Zelda block? What? The redstone blocks look cool too. I like these uh, nether brick. Obsidian nether brick. I don't know how to make that. Rusted metal chunks. Void stone. Like some of these blocks look really cool. Danger high voltage. So we'll have to get into some of those. I'll have to look around. Maybe. <coughs> Once we get our quarry and start working on the big main build of this little season that we got going on, um, we can uh, use some of those blocks and make it look a little either cartoony or like a little futuristic or something, or maybe like a science experiment. I don't know, but you can see over here <laughs> I've had to gather up some leaves basically just been over here breaking breaking blocks for leaves <laughs> I really don't know how many leaves we're going to be using so I'm going to assume we're going to need at least double the area <laughs> so I'm just going to Multiply 50 by 50 times 2 for the leaves. And that should be plenty enough for what we need to be doing. And then... <laughs> Christmas. We got Christmas stuff in here. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know how many blocks is that? It's... 25 plus two zeros, 2,500 leaves divided by 64 is a lot. <laughs> I'll put a little caption in how much that is. Also, that reminds me, speaking of captions, um, last episode I said these tanks hold eight buckets apiece, which is not true. <laughs> they hold 16 buckets apiece. So I remember moving a couple with some buckets so if we put, oh, I put all the other buckets away. We have eight buckets is half a tank. So it, this isn't 1,200. This is 2,400 buckets of fuel. <laughs> it's so much fuel, ridiculous. Or however much, 150 times 16, which is 300 times eight. Yeah, it's 2,400. 2,400 tanks of fuel. Or 2,400 buckets of fuel. It's a ridiculous amount of fuel. Which brings me to... Sorry, I keep pointing my head away from the mic. Um, brings me to another point. We got to sleep here in a second. Got some more cacti. I spread that out a little bit. Oh, that <laughs> giant jungle tree. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's get into a couple crafting recipes, and then I will do a bit of mining, which we need a lot of iron and coal, because of that grimstone. We also need a lot of cobblestone. Um, so, this is our first chest upgrade. This is the storage of a double chest, or slightly less than a double chest, I think. Um, this is our iron chest. This is great for a one block storage because we can line these up and have way more than a double chest in a two block space. And we can upgrade that to obsidian or crystal. Um, crystal would be cheaper <laughs> and we can see the blocks on the outside. Um, but crystal and obsidian. Sorry about that, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the minimize instead of the next button but 
we can essentially or there uh, the obsidian chest and the crystal chest are essentially the same storage space um, I'll just type in chest <laughs> So yeah, the crystal chest. Oh, we need a diamond chest for that. Or an obsidian chest. But this one costs less because it's a diamond chest and glass instead of having to use obsidian. That'll take some time. Pretty present. <laughs> uh, so we can make present chests. That's interesting. Maybe see what that does later. But this is our first little uh, auto smelter. Um, kind of made it manual. So we have to put in coal ourselves, feeding into that iron chest. Um, that connects to up here, just to make it easier. So when we're up here moving around our storage, we can just come over here, drop off all our co cobblestone, and do all that jazz there. Um, so with that, we can also take this iron and make a chest upgrade. Um, I found some diamonds, so we're going to make a refiner. Um, hopefully there's four diamonds down there and not just a couple. Um, that way we can upgrade that uh, gear from re re refinery. We can upgrade that gear into a diamond gear. Um, and that way, whoops. That way we can start refining that oil and start making some fuel. That'd be pretty cute. Uh, let's see here. What was I just about to do? Okay. Iron upgrade. So what you need to do for an iron upgrade, you just make the iron, surround it in a circle, put a piece of wood in there, and ta-da, you got yourself a regular chest, wood chest to iron upgrade. Um, so, which chest do I want to upgrade? Let's upgrade my loot chest. All I just gotta do is right click on it and it turns into an iron chest. Pretty useful. You don't need to move your storage out first. Um, I don't know why it's not closing. There it goes. Weird. Alright. Um, so let's throw what we need for the hedge maze. So this episode is probably going to be an hour long. Um, <laughs> due to it being Halloween and we have a pretty gnarly project that we got to work on um, let's put those there put those there let's just put those there for now um, put those there um, we're going to go mining that's not going to be on camera to save us some time creeper bit uh, I wonder if we can make a chest pet real quick and then we will cut to the next part which would be the setting up of the maze and then the actual time lapse is a maze <laughs> and then we got maybe going through the maze at the end of the episode um, let's see double chest okay diamonds and gold um, I think we have enough gold so let's go grab those diamonds show you guys where they are so you don't think I'm freaking out cheating <laughs> or whatever oh so I was digging around down here a bedrock. Where the hell am I? Um, yeah, I was just uh, kind of mining around, looking for diamonds with uh, this here. And then I came back, smelted some pickaxes to mine up some diamonds. Um, 
Um, I can't remember what was here. I think there was a crap ton of gravel, actually. Yeah, there was a bunch of gravel here. I think I got like over a stack and a half of gravel. <laughs> um, but we got some diamonds. Oh, don't, ju don't just give me three. Okay, thank you. I need at least four. <laughs> I can make the refiner. It would be awesome if it gave me like nine or something like that. <laughs> but I doubt it because I think the max is eight in a spawn. Um, doesn't look like there are any more diamonds. That's unfortunate. But that means we can craft a double chest pet. Maybe another pet? Here, well, let's see how many pets we can do. Maybe this will be, yeah, we'll do, make this a two part episode uploading it both on the same day so you can stay tuned for the next part a double feature I guess for Halloween um, yeah. okay so in here we got gonna need to save four of those let's just grab what we need for the refiner I think that's in this chest bloop 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 so this will be a crafting first part. We talked about the maze. Um, we gotta upgrade this puppy to diamond. What else do we need diamonds for? Um, we need gold as well. Let's grab some gold. Let's turn a little bit into nuggets. Put those there. A diamond there. Put some planks here, and we have our first pet. And he eats wooden planks, so every time we use him, he'll eat some planks. So we gotta always keep some planks on us so he doesn't die. And so we don't lose our items. I don't know if he explodes, but while he's in our inventory, we got our first pet. <laughs> this will be very handy while we're building. We got a spare double chest on us. It's legit. Um, I think he makes noise while he eats. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Keep an ear out for that, I guess. Um, what other pet do we want? Can we craft another pet? We'll see. Anvil, jukebox. Let's see what we could do with bed pet. Do I have any redstone? Pretty sure I have some wool. Um, if not, I can craft some up. Why is that in there? I really don't know. Um, got some redstone. And craft up our second pet, the bed pet. And every time we use that, I think he eats wool. So we'll have to keep wool on us as well. Um, let's grab the redstone. But we'll be able to sleep anywhere. I think it's like a like an auto sleep. And then maybe we'll craft the sheep pet. Yeah, next uh, next time we get diamonds, we'll craft up the sheep pet, which I should have thought of prior to this. Um, <laughs> we have just enough wool to do it, but it gives us wool and it gives us feather falling, basically. Um, 
Yeah. So we got a pet that'll help us sleep whenever we want. I'll just put that in here. Oh, I'm going down mining. So uh, we got to craft the refiner. I did that diamond gear for a reason. Um, let's do two redstone torches. One goes there. I'm going to flip over my mouse while we're off camera as well. Just change mouse, mice, mouses. We got a refinery. Yeah. Can't remember how big this is actually. So let's go over two tanks. Place this refinery down. And then we'll call it for an episode. Next time you see me, we will be at the front of the hedge maze. I'll have an area carved out. Um, and uh, I'll get to doing like a let's build. Um, so let's put down this refinery. Um, I don't know, here? Oh, it's tiny. I didn't realize it was just one block. Ah, uh, look how cute that is. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we feed in oil into one, or into both, I think. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I think oil into the back, and then fuel comes out the front, and fills up the front tank, and then you put an output pipe which are these wooden pipes uh, I almost fell down that hole oh jeez <laughs> um, these wooden pipes will extract from that front tank when you turn on a uh, when you turn on an engine <laughs> And then you can send that to whatever machine we're using. Probably in the case of a quarry. I'm going to try to find some more diamonds. Um, and yeah. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode. Um, stay tuned for the second episode. Coming at you here shortly. Um, if not uploaded already for the double feature for Halloween. And uh... Yeah, we're going to be building a hedge maze. And I hit F5 instead of crouch. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the layout and the design. You can check out the, um, or most of the design um, in a couple of pictures. Also, you can check out my Musical.ly. The links are down in the description. Um, search Drew's a nice guy nicely if you already have musically and don't feel like going down to the description to check out what my name is <laughs> there's also other cool stuff if you don't have like or if you have Twitter or Google Plus or um, other fun stuffs but yeah thanks for watching um, subscribe if you're new hit the like button if you like the episode um, it would really help me out keep me motivated to keep making more episodes the more you guys like the like button, or like the like button, the more you guys hit the like button, it motivates me like phenomenally. Like, um, the like button is a YouTuber's best friend. It tells them whether or not you guys like the episodes, and it keeps, and it like makes them happy. It makes me happy, definitely for sure. Hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments if you uh, like the episode. Um, or if for some reason you didn't like the episode, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you don't let me know and you just hit the like button and disappear, I think that's redundant and it doesn't help anything. So give me some feedback down in the comments. And I will see you all next time for the, uh, the build for the hedge maze. Um, I also found some new music, so let me know down in the comments what you think about the music, the new intro, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. <laughs> Peace.